Health centers in Fairbanks have yet to administer the H1N1 vaccine to the public. The Center for Disease Control says the government originally promised 120 million doses of the vaccine nationwide by now, but just have 13 million come through. Recently, Alaska orders its second shipment of 9,600 doses of injectable vaccine and an additional 4,000 doses of the nasal spray vaccine. While children and those with underlying respiratory issues are most likely to contract the swine flu, it's healthcare workers who are receiving the shot first. So the Alaska Department of Health and the CDC did release some vaccines. Alaska as a state has gotten the vaccine, but right now they're only vaccinating healthcare workers, um, primarily to keep any flu from spreading through people when other people come to get treated for other illnesses that aren't related to the flu. So if everyone can just be patient, we appreciate it, and to follow the general guidelines that have been out there all over the place. Meanwhile, public schools across town are taking all necessary precautions to slow the spread of swine flu. According to the district website, specific measures are now being implemented to directly combat the virus in schools. Nurses are now conducting more active fever and symptom screening for both students and staff who show symptoms that may indicate a respiratory infection such as fever, cough, so cough sore throat, runny or stuffy nose, body aches and fatigue. Students who exhibit at least two of these symptoms are automatically separated from others, offered a surgical mask and sent home as soon as possible. The Ob